Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with a BEA beautiful game which is absolutely free. Freer than Americans claim to be. <laughs> Just joking America, you know I love you. Uh, still this game called Space Science, Space Science Investigations is, like I said, totally free on the Xbox Store and is an easy completion within 30 minutes. And it's actually better and more educational than Trampoline Jump and crud like those one minute PlayStation plats. Meh, meh. Anyway, this was developed by iGoal, published by NASA, and like I said, is totally free. <laughs> so as you can imagine, we play as American astronaut hero Richard Dick Flaccidflop. And it's our job, sorry, to prepare the International Space Station for the HTV's arrival, but we gotta do some stuff first. Now, not only is this game very easy, it is very educational as well. So if you are actually interested in space exploration and what being an astronaut does to the body, this is actually a great game for you to take a really good look at. If you're here just for El Chivos, well, I got you covered with that too. Uh, there's lots of mis miscellaneous stuff to do, as well as collecting six books. It's basically sort of following the main path and doing little things like eating, working out, taking a dump, although we don't actually see how the astronauts do it in this particular game anyway. Um, but as I said, overall, we're looking at around 25 to 30 minutes. So with that being said, let us begin. And what we can do is actually just bash through the dialogue by spamming the Y button continuously. So uh, I'll, I'll quickly go through all of the um, controls and stuff for you, but just bash the Y button to get through it anyway. We get the welcome aboard achievement. So first things first, what we're going to do when we can, when the dialogue finally, um, you know, just uh, takes a little break, a little dirt nap right there. Press the start button, the three line button, press the B button to go back, and this is the sort of main menu. Uh, what we're going to do is go into settings, and you don't have to do this. Um, I just popped the dialogue down. It was very loud on my ears, man. Uh, but what I highly advise doing is going to the control presets and putting it to slow, because obviously we are in space, there's no gravity, so we're going to be moving around like hell. You can invert the pitch as well, as well, if you want to invert the controls, but the controls very quickly. So, to go forward and backwards, you move the left stick. The controller, uh, the right stick on the controller is obviously, you know, move that around um, to uh, pan the camera around. You press the right bumper to go up, the left bumper to go down, and then the right trigger to sort of rotate right, and the left trigger to rotate left. So you'll never really need those, um, but, you know, they are the controls. So anyway, pan the camera to the left, all the way around, and you can see four books here. And what we need to do is interact and press the A button where it says Activities. Now these are the six collectible books that we need. How far can germs spread? Pretty far. And if you don't have your chin diaper on you in space, even in space, well, we are screwed. Right underneath those assops. I'd like to take a look at those assops. Anyway, follow the yellow diamond here. That'll be your first collectible out of six, by the way, for the books. Um, so again, like I said, we put it nice and slow so it's a lot easier to follow along. But we're just going to follow the yellow diamond. This is the main objective marker, by the way. What we're going to do, come into this room. Take a look at the top left corner of the room and you're going to see yet another activities book right there. Again, try and take it slow, otherwise you'd be sort of, um, you know, getting all over, bent hell out of shape and going completely nuts. Um, so just take it nice and slow with the camera. That'll be your second book, by the way. And then what we can do, again, if you're starting to get a bit disorientated, just stop and then get yourself, um, you know, straightened out and stuff. Have a look at this bottom white left package and make sure to pick the screwdriver and the duct tape. So make sure leave the scissors, we don't need the scissors. And then what you need to do is go into the top right sort of package right here. Again, when it says to, you can press the A button and then grab the wrench and the drill. I imagine if lettuce tastes like crap on earth, it's going to taste like crap in space, I assume, as well. But that'll get you the handyman achievement there for grabbing the wrench, drill, screwdriver and the duct tape. Coming in handy. Right, let's turn around. We're going to go into the opposite room now. We're all done in this room. Fantastic. So follow the yellow diamond, follow the yellow brick road into another space bit. Now you will, you are probably going to start spewing your guts up right here and it does get a bit annoying after a while. But have a look at this sort of, it's kind of like a white filing cabinet if you want to call it that. Uh, just interact with that as we now begin to start spewing. And all we need to do is grab the yo-yo, the soccer ball, which is called a football, because it's a ball that goes in your foot. So the yo-yo, the football, the dinosaur, and the teddy. So basically everything that is not an experiment pouch, and that will get you the playtime achievement. Remember, football, hand, egg. Again, 
British versus American uh, style of football. We'll argue about that later. So when we get to that achievement, we can head out as we just continuously spew our guts up. Turn right. Basically, we are back to now to where we started. Um, and we're going to get another two collectibles here in this room. So don't speed off too far. R just in the sort of top left corner of this room, you're going to see it at the very back where it says activities. Some more ASOPs books. Can it get to the core of the problem? No, those ASOPs won't let me. So anyway, that'll be collectible number three. Go forward ever so slightly, there is going to be another book. Yeah, spewing in space gets a bit um, inconvenience in there, doesn't it? Uh, and then what does your inner ear do? If I'm going to be spewing like this, it's going to be falling out, pal. That's what it's doing. But that is your next book and then we're in the top right corner. So anyway, go forward. And then if we look... Uh, can basically, uh, have a little look down and we're going to find our fifth collectible book. So where this package is now, just look down. And that is where the fifth book is. By the way, the um, hallway that we were just in with where we just grabbed the two collectible books, if you went through that without touching any of the walls, you will, you will have got the straight shooter achievement. I didn't get it yet because I touched the wall, so I'll just nab it in just a little bit. But anyway, that is your fifth out of six collectible book now. Uh, for some reason, it started going a, a bit mental. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it started going mental. It kept going to Internet Explorer for whatever reason. Um, but I will go and get the straight shooter sh achievement in just a minute. For now, we're going to turn left. You can see the yellow diamond again, where the main objective is. And we're coming up to a toilet. Now, I am very interested to know how you dump when gravity's in space and stuff. See, a lot of, you know, a lot of things. And, well, let's face it, do astronauts get horny? You know, you've got to relieve some pressure. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, though, if it's going to be floating around and stuff and splashing you in the eyeballs. Painful. Um, anyway, have a look in this bathroom. Here is the sixth and final book. Why is it important to have good bone density? Probably so you don't get boneitis and crunch up like the one guy from Futurama. And then interact with the toilet as well. That will get you the pit stop achievement. So you should have now all collectible six out of six books. And for... Um, Touching your turd in the toilet bowl, that will be the next achievement. So go around, uh, basically straight down here to find yet another set of diamonds. Interact with this, again, kind of look, looks like a filing cabinet or whatever, and pick up the sickness bag. That's all good. Now press the start button, go into your inventory, and then the sickness bag will be in the bottom right corner. So press the A button to use that. And apparently using the sickness bag is the one that cures sickness. I wonder if there's a diarrhea bag for curing diarrhea. You're just crap in a bag and then, you know, it works. I didn't know that was a thing, but uh, apparently it is in space. So what we need to do now is watch a certain video. So go back into your main menu. Uh, not the map. We need to go into the videos. So because we... Uh, and then play the video called Vestibular. Um, now, because it, th this will happen. When we pick up a couple of certain items, we will then be able to watch a video. We'll get single achievements for watching all the videos, plus an achievement for watching them all later on. Very, very, again, this is where the incredible, highly educational stuff comes from. So if you are interested, well, boy, howdy, these be the videos for you. In space. Fortunately, astronauts' brains adapt quickly and learn to trust their eyes over the other senses. So, when that video is done, dusted, and busted, we will get the Vomit Comet achievement. <laughs> Fantastically named achievement there. Uh, right, so what we can do, head left here. Now, remember, if you got the straight shooter achievement, you can just head straight now for the yellow diamond to get the home sweet home achievement. If you didn't get the straight shooter achievement, I'm going to go and do that now. So, you can only get it through this, uh, what's called the US Labs. So, just go through it. Don't touch any of the walls. It's only a short distance, so you should have near but a bother uh, with unlocking it. Once it unlocks, you are golden as nuggety nugget balls to get out of here. So remember, if uh, if you've do if you've done it my way, then obviously we're going to go back. We're going to take a left now at the end of these US labs after we turn around, and we're just going to head for the yellow diamond to unlock the home sweet home achievement. <laughs> Ah, 
And then finally, once the dialogue is all done again, go back. We're going to go into our maps this time, and we are going to be heading... Uh, go to the right, so if you just click r uh, right on the left stick, go to Zvezda service module. This is the Russian space station here, so Zvezda. And what we need to do is grab any of the cameras, left or right, it doesn't matter what it is. And then that's uh, pretty much it. So we can just head back into our maps now. Um, it'll automatically be on the left one, but we're going to go to Destiny US Lab, which is the second option there. So the US Laboratory. And when we get here, look immediately down, and you can see the wharf camera. So press the A button to interact with it, and then use the camera, which should be on your bottom right-hand corner, and then use it with that. We're going to come back to this in just a touch, though, so don't worry about this for now. We are going to grab a couple of achievements, and quite a, quite a funny, quite a, quite a little funny one as well. So for now, go straight here. As you can see, we're going for the yellow diamond, the main objective as well. A couple of pictures in here. So, um... This is what space does to a man. You never really, you really see um, hairy astronauts, don't you? The stress of, you know, crud and stuff floating in the air and stamping you in your eyeballs will make you go bald, or if you're me, it'll just make you go bald if you got kids. Uh, so we can now play the video. So go into your menu and, of course, play the video, which is now cardiovascular. That is after you interact with the photos. Of the forces of gravity. In space, the absence of gravity causes the fluids to shift upwards, leading to a puffy face, stuffy nose, and headaches. The fluid shift makes the body think that it has too much water and triggers systems to purge fluids, resulting in a significant loss of water and a 10-20% to 20 loss of blood plasma volume. Because the heart has to do less work, it may become smaller. The consequences of these changes in the cardiovascular system can be combated by exercise and an increase in electrolyte fluid intake before returning to Earth. And that will be the Space and Facing achievement. So thank you for the patch, thank you for the achievement. Job... So, job done. Right, from here then, what we're going to do is turn around. And we're going to go into the other room, the, and we're basically going to look immediately down. You can see the yellow diamond in front of us. Now we can interact with the wharf camera. So you can just press the A button. You, it, it, all you need to do is, uh, you can see this little um, little spaceship just chilling, dog. But basically when the outlines of the camera turn green, we're going to take a couple of pictures, spam the A button a couple of times until the achievement unlocks. So you don't have to wait until it gets in the middle or anything like that, which comes in complete and handy. So there it is. Now it's green. So one, two, buck on my shoe. Do it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. And uh, there we go. So we're preparing for the HIV, uh, uh, HTV arrival. Sorry, I almost got my uh, <laughs> letters mixed up there. So when you get the achievement, don't go anywhere just yet. Look immediately down again and go back into the camera. And this time, we're going to wait for about 10, 15 seconds or so, something like that. Uh, but basically, it's going to be a UFO. Now, this is a real creepy one. It's actually not. It's actually hilarious because it's a UFO on strings. Now, make of that what you will, but NASA is probably definitely hiding some aliens in there. And they, some Rogers, some Roger the Aliens from American Dad. Anyway, wait till the camera goes green again, and we will get the achievement called Cut the Feed. Good stuff. Good stuff there by NASA. Well done, or I go. Right, what we can do now is go into our map once again. And this time we're going to go all the way to Tranquility Node 3, which is at the bottom. Or the second from bottom there. So, this is what Tranquility Node looks like. What we're going to do is go again, immediately down. And you can see yellow, seven yellow diamonds. Now, all these are our windows that we just need to open up. So very simply, all you need to do is just open up each window and we will get the Earth Gazer achievement. So open it up and no, oh, gaze at the Earth, I guess. So there we go then, that'll get us the Earth Gazer achievement. Now, because we've looked at the Earth, um, our vision goes completely blurry. So when the dialogue's done, we're going to go back into our map and go back to Destiny, the US Lab. 
the Us Laboratory. And again, you can see the yellow diamond directly in front of you. So that is our main objective. That is where we're heading. So we need to open up this uh, little doorway of something. And we just need to pick up the glasses. Uh, you can pick up the guitar if you want for a little uh, Tenacious D solo right there. A little bit of Kyle Gas. But we're just going to go into our inventory. Use the glasses to restore our once poor vision. Okay, that's it. So from here, what we could do is simply wait until the dialogue finishes, and then we're going to be uh, watching the third out of six videos. So that's why I'm spinning around, just making you feel sick. But as soon as the dialogue's done, go into your inventory, uh, go into your video, sorry, and then choose vision. That is a great looking eyeball. That's ready to be popped. P O double P A F D. Pop aft. Choroidal folds, swelling of the choroid, which is a tissue with a lot of blood vessels. Optic disc edema, swelling of the optic nerve where it meets the globe of the eye. Optic nerve sheath distension. Some astronauts experience changes in their vision, such as farsightedness and scotoma. These may remain when the astronaut returns to Earth. Research is continuing in order to find a solution to these problems. Now that last picture was definitely some dead space shiz going on right there, right? <laughs> that was, uh, you know, needle to the eyeball and stuff. Damn. Anyway, that gets us to to see or not to see achievement. Now go back into your map and go back to Tranquility Node 3. Again, second from bottom. And then immediately to your left, you can see this little workout machine. So press the A button. This is the first kind of mini game. So you can see on the left hand side, there are two white bars. All you got to do is press the A button in between the two white bars and just keep going. You don't have to win. You don't have to beat a particular high score. I get 342, which is uh, pretty piss poor to be honest. But it is quite late at night and my vision is uh, blurrier than astronaut broskies. Look at that. Oh my god, thick. Oh, this guy's thick, dude. Anyway, just keep going. You you only have to play this for about 30 seconds. Deadlifter, Deadlifter of the Kings, Eddie Hall, would be very proud of that. Anyway, 42 reps for deadlifts. Damn, girl. Uh, so anyway, again, sorry, just moving off it. But that's 3-4-2. I wonder, did you beat me? You probably did beat my ass on that then. So congratulations for beating me, everyone. Um, but with this one, again, what we're going to do, wait till the dialogue finishes. Go back into our videos and then watch the muscle. Uh, video. Well, that'll be four out of six. Shrink because they do less work and your body doesn't need to maintain them. Muscles that are typically used to fight gravity and keep us standing, such as those around the spine and calves, are affected the most. These muscles can lose up to 20% of their mass over the course of a mission. Exercise is used to help maintain muscle strength and mass. And we've got a bit of uh, Rock the Rock, and we've got a bit of Mark Wahlberg here. No pain, no gain achievement unlocking. Pain and gain. No pain, no gain. But pain and gain this time. So, what we're going to do is, once the dialogue's finished, go back into your maps. And we're going to go back to Destiny. The laboratory, or the laboratory, which is uh, cor correctly pronounced. Uh, look directly up, and basically we're having a cold now. So you need to go into the Express Rack 2, EXPR 2, and then pick up the medication. So once we've done that, then the e EXPR 2 was right at the very end, by the way. Go into your inventory, use the medication, and we're going to get the achievement in space. No one can hear you sneeze, except for Alien. Alien does hear you sneeze, so um, that's why everyone got caught, basically. Alien was pretty dumb, but everyone was like, oh, I'm so scared, and then, you know, well, you've all seen the Alien films, haven't you? Right, go into your videos and play the immune video. Space flight. This is due to many factors. Various immune cells travel through the bloodstream searching for invaders. In space, aspects of the immune system appear weakened, which could lead to infections. Other aspects appear overactive, which could cause allergy or hypersensitivity. 
Certain viruses, such as the virus that causes chickenpox, have been shown to reactivate in microgravity. This doesn't mean the astronauts are sick, but is evidence of immune changes in astronauts that may precede disease. Research on ISS is continuing to characterize exactly which parts of the immune system are altered during spaceflight. Damn, he looks really happy to be out, out of space. Uh, he's having a couple of months away from the uh, missus and kids, I assume. Anyway, um, that'll be the In Space No One Can Watch You Sneeze, or Hear You Sneeze, again, apart from Alien. We're going to go back to Tranquility Node 3, though, on the map. And then, as you can see, we're going to look directly down once again. You can already see the yellow diamond. So look directly down, and we're going to be coming up to another mini game Now, very, very easy. I will tell you exactly what to do, and it's all to do with the right stick. So don't even have a look at the left stick. You don't have to use that. Um, so what we need to do, as soon as the auto-sequence stops sequencing, um, go down with the right stick again. So head down, and you can see the um, little sort of latch or something. If you press the right bumper, it will go forward. So with this little latch, you can see a little circle just on top of it. So press the right bumper to keep going forward, and it will automatically grapple, as long as it's on that circle. And then, once it's all grappled, and the auto-sequence stops auto-sequencing, um, this time, all you have to do is basically just press the left bumper. So you don't actually even, you don't even have to move the joystick with the right stick. This time, it'll automatically be on there with the red, um, the red circle. So you can just press the left bumper this time to keep going forward, and that's going to be the end of that chapter. So when you have done, once again, that very extremely easy minigame, we're going to unlock the achievement Cargo Catcher. We're going to go straight into our maps and then go to Harmony Node 2, which is the fourth one down there. So Harmony Node 2. And what we do is look directly down and you can see these little, um, well, this is the little kitchen. I'm a bit disorientated, but we're not going to be pressing the right or left trigger. Have a look at the first one on your right, the first set of packages, we'll call them. And then press the A button. Now just pick up one av avul. And then if you look directly down, interact with the packages here and pick up one filled milk pouch. I really would love to taste astronaut food. Probably not. Um, anyway, just go into your inventory, eat the apple, go into your inventory again and drink us the milkus. Makes your bone density strong, you know. And that will get us yet another achievement. Well, after we watch the video. So we need to just uh, listen out for this dialogue. Press the start button, go into our videos, and watch the bones. <laughs> well, there's only one specific bone which mil milk helps with. And it's not the ones in your body, it's the one out of it. <laughs> the, the collarbone. In microgravity, less bone is rebuilt since there is less need for our skeleton to support our bodies. This results in bone loss similar to that in people with osteoporosis. So just to quickly let you know then, a bit of life advice. If any man out there is needing help with a particular bone, er, um, it's not milk that you need. It's not fit, it's not astronaut milk. It's uh, it's it's pretty much um, it's a blue pill. Okay, so just just letting you know. Don't choose milk if you need a specific bone um, extension. Right, we'll get two achievements here: an apple a day, and we have completed the main story mission. So we get the mission complete achievement as well as an apple a day. So that should be two for you. Now what we're going to do is go into our maps. We're just going to go through all of the list and visit everywhere. So first of all. Visit ELM, the Japanese Experimental uh, system -y bit. So just move around a little tiny bit and then go back into your map. So the Japanese Experiment Lo Logistics module was the first one. We've gone everywhere on this one. So go right to the Russian one and go to Poisk, which is the top one. Have a little bit of a movie move, a little bit of a groovy groove. Go back into your map, go to Piers or Purs or Piers. Again, have a little move. Uh, go back into your map, go down to Zaya. Oh, Zaya. What's my name? Oh, Zaya. Go back into your map anyway after moving about and go to Rasvet. Rasvet is a piece of shit. He, he charged me 600 rubles for my dog. 
And then go for the last one, go down to Soyuz. Soyuz Beans, and that will be the Station Explorer achievement done. So for the American one, we would have gone through most of them, apart from the Japanese one. And then we've just gone through basically all of the Russian one, except for the one that we went through earlier. So that'll be that one done now. Um, now we've only got pretty much two achievements left. So if you want to have a quick look here, you should be on 19 out of 21 as well. So uh, the one is Frequent Flyer for just restarting the game for a second time. And what we have to do now is go into more info here. And then we just have to go through. Now you can see where one is blue and one is purple. So basically, uh, once you've read it here... Um, that basically means it's purple, and once you've read it, it goes purple. The ones that you need to read are in blue. So you can either keep going back into the game like I just did. So go down, uh, just basically go through more. So more information, go onto it, press the B button to back out, and then go down to the next one, and then just press the B button to back out. And sometimes it'll go onto the um, main menu, so just... Have a have a look and see which one you've done. So for me, it's the case of the physical bloody blah, blah blah, and then pumping up the stress, which will be the next one. So just keep those in mind, just in case you forget or you're a bit colorblind like I was, to be honest. <laughs> but just go through all there. All we need to do is read ten for that achievement to unlock. And there we go then. So now we've just got one left to grab. So as soon as the Principal Investigator achievement unlocks, Vestibular Ocular Reflex. Reflex. Oh my god, my my eyes are... Well, it turns out I need glasses too, apparently. Anyway, we're going to completely quit out of the game. So SSI. No, that's not an STI. Don't worry about that. You don't need to go to the doctors. Uh, go back into it. And then as soon as we begin again, that will be the achievement unlocked. And that is the full 1,000 for a lovely free game. And NASA can keep checking out these free games if they want. Educational and easy. That's exactly what we love. So there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Legends of the highest order. And with that one done, well, I guess I'll see you in the next free NASA game then, boys and girls. Just make you a little bit sick here as well. <laughs> but ba 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 ba